So we have four cards. The first card out, Sun Seeds, with the Six of Pentacles under the bottom. So Sun Seeds, um, <clears throat> someone could be feeling like they missed out on an opportunity with you. They could be feeling disconnected from you, okay? Six of Pentacles, this could be someone who wishing that they would have gave to this connection. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be someone um, that could have, um, it could have definitely been like an imbalance here. Maybe this person was hard for this person to make a decision, whether they want the, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, whether they choose whether they want to work with you um, or not. But I, 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 I'm picking up on you or someone who's very skilled, someone who's very talented, um, someone who has accomplished a lot. Okay, with the death card being here, I cannot make it up. The Ten of Pentacles, you guys could be definitely experiencing a major transformation at this time. When I say a major transformation, I mean that you guys are definitely going through a major transformation in your life. A definitely a change, a transition. You could be um, releasing a lot of people. Um, a lot of people could even be falling from the wayside. You know, just, you know, it's like the trash is already taking itself out. Okay, spirit said trash. So anything that doesn't serve your highest good is definitely um, leaving. Okay, but with the death card to the Ten of Pentacles to the Temperance, it's just divine timing. It's just divine timing. Now there's a time I can't make it up. Okay, Five of Wands. Yeah, any or the Two of Swords. Yeah, anybody does that doesn't serve your highest good is definitely being blocked. Two of Wands. Okay, you got you got you got places to be things to do, decisions to make, okay? This is you taking action and moving forward. Anybody that was trying to block or hinder that, um, you know, it could be a lot of regret. A lot of regret where people feeling like they should have gave into you or gave into the situation, you know? Let's see. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages surrounding this current energy for the collective sun seed. Please protect me and guide me while I give the beautiful collective sun seeds these messages. Please block any karmic energies. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what are the messages for the collective sun seeds? Pride. It's giving pride and ego. Pride and ego. What's this pride? Relationship. Someone was letting pride stand in the way. Ooh, that. I don't know if you hear how loud that plane is, but something is. It was loud. Something was loud. Somebody let pride get in the way of a relationship. They let their pride get in the way when it came down to a connection with you guys, waiting. And mirroring. So somebody had you waiting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mirroring. This could be a twin flame connection. But someone let their pride get away when it came to a relationship. Somebody definitely could have been having you waiting. What's the pride? Give me more of the pride energy. For the collective sun seeds. And I feel like you guys decided to work on you. You know, you guys definitely decided to work on you. With the death card and the temperance card, those are major arcanas. That is definitely divine stepping in. Somebody had you waiting to wound, or somebody thought that they was going to have you waiting. And spirit is saying with the eight of pentacles, you growing, you evolving. Um, whatever you're working on, you be, you're very skilled at it. You're very talented at it. Um, you've been just putting a lot of hard work and dedication. And somebody who has so much pride that let them stand in the way of a, a beautiful connection with you guys, had you guys waiting. And in the meantime, between time, while they had you waiting, you was over here growing and evolving. And, you know, with the mirror, like I said, this could be a twin flame. But Spirit is saying that um, somebody is, like, looking back and, and reflecting with the four cups um, how they missed out on the opportunity. It was like a hand from the divine giving this person someone who's very blessed um a, a, a gift but someone was rejecting it they 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 didn't thank you spirit they didn't see the gift they was only focused on the three of pinnacle i mean the three i said the three of pinnacles 
but I meant to say three of cups. So maybe whoever they was working with, okay, whoever they was working with, collabing with, they was only focused on them. They didn't see that spirit was like, okay, you working with these three of pinnacles, but I got I got something better for you. I got this cup right here I'm trying to give to you. But somebody didn't see someone's word. They didn't see someone's word. Because the three of cups that are bottom, that speaks about celebration, friends, happiness. So somebody could have been, you know, just caught up in a party life or, or caught up with, you know, when it came to their friends and putting people before this connection and listen to other people. They didn't want to accept the fact that spirit was like, I got a, I got an ace of cups. I got something that I'm giving you. Yeah, temptation. There's somebody who will allow temptation um, to get in between in this connection. What's the card for the card? Pride. Oh, damn. Let me get this. Damn. They just fly. Oh. Okay, so, you know, that's an omen. Somebody was just all over the place. It's like Spirit was trying to give somebody with something, and because they was all over the place, they couldn't even see it. The pride is clear by what the energy. Look how beautiful your energy is. It's like spirit. Look at and look at the four cups, so see. It's like somebody's so focused on the three of cups at the bottom, but spirit is like, look at spirit here, giving this person a cup, but they can't see it. They looking down at the three of cups, but I said three of pinnacles. So they was only focused on the temptation, you know, whatever that was surrounding them at the time. That's what they was focused on. But with the energy being here, um, clear fire of pride, I just feel like it, um. Someone let their pride get in the way. They did. Mm -hmm. They had a beautiful blessing. Someone who has beautiful energy um, surrounding them. They did. They, they, it's like um, I don't want. I don't want to be mean, but it's like they couldn't see it at the time. So they felt like with the waiting card that you would just be there, immature at the bottom. This person was just very immature. Yeah, immature, and they played a lot of games with you, sun seeds. But I feel like whoever you are, you're someone who's very emotionally intelligent, okay? Um, and you just decided to pull that love and energy onto yourself. That's what you did. We have the independent that's giving like a Nine of Pentacles energy. So you decided to focus on yourself. The Nine of Pentacles speaks all about someone who's self-made. Um, I just heard entrepreneur. Um, but... Nine of Pentacles speaks about someone who's self-made, independent. Whatever you've been working on, you got it from the ground up. Um, this is someone who's focused on themselves, okay? Independently, without any distractions. So when this person was um, was easily distracted or, or had a lustful spirit, you wasn't focused on that. You knew what you brought to the table. You knew the energy that you brought to this person's life. I mean, if they couldn't see it, you wasn't out here trying to convince someone of your worth. So what you did was with the energy and, and independent, not a pinnacles, you decided to focus on you. And which, what that was, you built the eight of pinnacles. You became skilled at something, okay? While this person was immature, playing games, okay? You decided with the emotionally intelligent, I just give them like a Queen of Cups energy. You decided to pour that love into yourself, you know? Yeah, somebody could be financially trapped and committed. So somebody could be in a, a, a karmic relationship with someone who is um, financially trapped. Maybe they're going through financial issues. This could have been somebody who had a friends with benefits situation. Says friends with benefits committed and financially trapped. Yeah. <clears throat> and now someone is hurting. Yeah, because whatever addictions or obsessions that they had, it got them. It didn't get them anywhere. You know, if somebody feels like you're somewhere off in the sea, on vacation, living your best life. Ooh. And with that vacation card, you know, things been going on. Not just, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the whole collective have been feeling what's going on, you know, just in the world, period. You know, every, it, it's been a lot going on, okay? As far as delays at the airport, delays with, you know, with, um, you know, things being shut down. It's, it's just been like something, it's just been global, you know? Um, I just feel like you've been just making the best out of, you know, your situation. 
and someone, yeah, we got healing and reconciliation. Somebody wants to heal a situation with you, or reconcile with you. Somebody who possibly put you in a third party situation, um, a third party situation, but um, who put you in a third party situation and distance yourself, they distance themselves. So this could be somebody who walked away from you, from you for a third party, okay? Because of some type of addictions that they had, but now they're somewhere hurting. Yeah. And I said the mirroring could definitely be a twin flame. This somebody who, who realizing that that wasn't even, it's like somebody is reflecting, thank you. It was given like the hermit card. Somebody was reflecting and seeing that none of that was wor worth it. I heard working. I was going to say work there, but spirit said work. And so whatever they put their energy and time on with, it wasn't worth it at all. It was not worth it. It was no stability. Um, it wasn't stable at all. And now they want to come in and heal and reconcile with you. <clears throat> but I feel like you're just not who you used to be anymore. And, I, and I'm picking up what the part of the relationship. I just feel like whoever this person is, they're very aware. Yeah, I cannot make it up. I knew what I was coming with. Whoever this person is, um, 1303, I just seen, somebody is very aware that you're not the same person at all either. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, so I feel like whoever this person is, they support this this good energy about you. It's making them to where they want to be better. Um, I said it, it's giving me the, um, like somebody's reflecting. So it's giving me like the hermit card. Maybe this person is going with them. And you know, um, seeking guidance is like you're helping this person, whether you know you know when you're doing it or whether you know you're doing it. Okay, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're so focused on yourself, you don't even you're not even checking for the next. Okay, or even for this ex. So you're helping this person, whether you know it or not. Um, this person is seeing that whatever they invest in, it wasn't stable, it wasn't solid. Somebody who they, who they had a friends with benefit situation was that possibly got into a commitment with, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't solid. It wasn't a solid foundation. Um, somebody's feeling financially trapped. They feel like they got themselves in some, some junk that they wanted to get themselves out. But the very one who they had waiting with the mirroring call was a twin flame, higher purpose. I cannot make it a higher purpose and not ready. They just was not ready to give you what you needed at that time. So what you did with the higher purpose, I feel like you went with it, you know? You found a part of yourself that you never even knew that was that was crying out or needed you. Because I said with the emotionally intelligent, it's given the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very loving, very compassionate, very intuitive, very supportive. And I feel like whatever you was given to this person, you gave to yourself. Yeah, you put up boundaries. And now you might be coming on to this person as emotionally unavailable. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it says changes and whole. So I feel like as you change and you evolve, you became whole within self. You know, you just focused on you. But I do feel like somebody had a lustful spirit and they gave into that. Um, you know, because you all know the devil is not a person, it's a spirit. You know, so somebody fed into a spirit, you know, and you just decided to walk away from it walking away and fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but you walked away. Yeah, you decided to move forward with the movement. And yeah, you, you just, you high vibrational. You're someone who's very high vibrational. And I don't feel like you got there overnight. I feel like with the eight of pinnacles that we've seen, I just feel like you worked on yourself and you got to a place where you're very skilled. You know? And now someone wants to talk and communicate with you. They see you as their happiness. But this is somebody who definitely put distance between you guys because of pride. And intuitively, I'm picking up the reason why they put distance um, between you guys is because this person seems you working on yourself. This person seems you healing. This person seems you evolving. This person seems you establishing businesses. They seem you establishing growth within your career, your job, elevating. And this is somebody who didn't want to work on themselves. So what they chose was a low vibrational energy instead of working with a high vibrational energy. Because working with a high vibrational energy, you was going to mirror to them what they needed to work on themselves. And this was somebody who wasn't just, they wasn't ready to do that, Sunseeds. So they chose a low vibrational energy. But that didn't mean that it stopped with you. You continue to work on yourself and evolve. 
and I feel like you, you, you kept, you know, your eye on the prize. You, you had a ton of vision. Somebody knows what they want. Somebody knows where they're going. Um, somebody just knows what they want for their life. And it doesn't mean that you doesn't, you don't love this person or you love this person any less. It's just that you guys are just not on the same vibration and you have accepted that. You know, um, when I say accepting that, meaning to where you say, you know what, Mystic Sunflower, it just is what it is, you know, and meaning when it is what it is, you became a dangerous person. And when I say a dangerous person, I mean in a good way, you put all that time and energy and effort into yourself and you created a beast a beast in a good way, meaning that I'm accomplish whatever I need to accomplish in this lifetime, whether it's with this person or not, because I know I mean well, I know I'm sincere, I know I mean good by this person, but this person is just not ready to give me what I need, because why? They still got their pride and their ego standing in the way. So this person could be going through a death when it comes to the pride and the ego, okay? Thank you, spirit. What's the relationship? relationship you could be dealing with an air sign aquarius Libra, gemini and distance this person definitely could have distanced themselves to you from you um air sign with distance and fantasies and seduction this could be also somebody at a distance that's fantasizing about you in a sexual way you know somebody who's missing your healing energy but this someone who's empty-handed this someone who has a who who don't have much to give to you at all, toxic and crazy and someone new. So this could have been someone who decided to part ways from you and decided to start something new with someone else, only for it to backfire and be a toxic situation for them to where not only was it, it wasn't stable, um, the energy just didn't match your energy. It became a lot of friction. Yeah, whoever this emperor is with air sign, somebody could be dealing with, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and we did see fine signs earlier. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I, I feel like, um, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, in this situation, you had to get into your masculine energy. You had to go after the things that you want. You know, a lot of you guys could be in that masculine energy where, you know, you're going after things that you want. You're taking charge of your life. You're not letting anyone stop you. You're not letting anyone hinder you or prevent you from getting what you know that you deserve in this lifetime. Okay. Um, and it's causing a lot of people to fall out your life. I heard at the wayside. Um, and I also heard earlier taking the trash out. So you could be going through, you could be feeling like you and even in a hermit. Maybe you might be feeling isolated or maybe you might be feeling like you by yourself. But whatever I feel like this, this, this preparation is that's coming in, it, it, it just only is necessary. It's like you, with the preparation, it's like you getting prepared. If God is making you wait, because I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles in my third eye, if you're being wait, if you feel like you're being delayed or God is making you wait, it's only because it's something better coming in. But whatever's better is coming in, I feel like you needed to see who was with you and who, was, who wasn't with you. What's the waiting? What's the waiting? What's the waiting? Yeah, him, the emperor. I feel like you guys have definitely been in this this period of waiting, just waiting for your manifestations to come in. Um, you know, putting in a lot of hard work and effort. What's the him? What's the emperor? What's the waiting in the emperor? Yeah, triggered. Whoever this person is, they're triggered. And the reason why they're triggered with higher purpose in reverse is because this person is not tapped in. They're not tapped in with their higher self. This is somebody who's low vibrational, easily um, tempted when it comes to like, you know, um, low vibrational energies and higher purpose and triggered. That is someone who is, it's like, just imagine you being low vibrational, right? And you stand as someone high, very high, high vibrational who has done the work and doesn't mind being by themselves. Okay, doesn't mind being by themselves, doesn't mind doing the work on themselves. You will feel like it's always a jab, like somebody always taking a jab at you, or if you ever have a conversation with someone who's low vibration, it will always it'll be like, oh, this person think they better than other people, or they think they got this, or they think they got that. And you just could just be speaking, you know, generally, generally 
just like how this person is speaking generally, but it's the fact that you have accomplished so much on your own, and this person feel like they can't do anything on their own, okay? They can be very codependent, or like I said, this person has a lustful spirit. They just feel like they don't know thyself like how you know thyself, you know? This somebody who needs validation from other people, and you're just not, that's just not who you are. So, but I don't feel like you grew like that overnight. You grew like that because you went with them. You said the high, high purpose, higher purpose and upright earlier, but clarifying the emperor with the hem part is now, is low, is, is low vibrational. Spirit said it's low vibrational. So anything that you do is triggered this person, okay? So with the waiting, it could be, like I said, I see the Knight of Pentacles in my third eye earlier. It could be a wait, it could be a delay. Like I said, you could be manifesting and you know, things might not be coming in just as the way as you, you wanted it wanted it to. For others of you guys, there's a person that's supposed to be on a divine path with you. And the reason why you're single and independent with the energy, the reason why you're in a nine of pentacles with this abundant energy by yourself is because whoever that's supposed to be on this divine path with you, they're just not ready. They're just not ready. So with the four pinnacles being the first card spirit was trying to get this person on this path they were trying to get you them the rock with you so y'all could do the work together but somebody was focused on the three of cups at the bottom they was focused on celebrating hanging out chilling you know doing what they wanted to do while you was over here like you know what i'm gonna focus on myself i'm gonna go you know i'm gonna go within i'm gonna build what i want to build i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do the work that i need to do within myself and this is somebody who feels like you have gotten so far on, you know, your assignment that they feel triggered by it. They feel triggered by it because they're not where you at right now. Can I have a card on the higher purpose in reverse? This is someone who was immature and that was not ready to go on a path that you was ready for. And that's okay, too, because everybody has free will. God is not forcing nobody to go on a path of healing and going on this, you know, the spiritual journey if they don't want to. Everybody has free will. But somebody who had their free will that used, used it to go within to be a better person, even if it only meant them standing by themselves, Somebody doesn't like that. They, 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 I won't say they don't like it. It's just that they're triggered by it because somebody's seen how far you came. Okay, maybe this person can be reflecting and thinking like how they, how far they're supposed to be in life and they would have chose this path with you. What's the higher purpose in reverse? Higher purpose in reverse? Yeah, they let their insecurities stand in the way and insecurities fall out on energy. So your energy make this person insecure. Your, your energy make the, because you're so high vibrational. And like I just said a little while ago, you could just be having a general conversation with this person, and you know just speaking. You know just like I said, general conversation, just talking. But this this would be somebody who would just misinterpret your conversation and say, oh, you think you're better than other people. You think you got this, or you think you did this, and you you know you accomplished this. And it's not even that. You're having a general conversation just like they have, but because they're so low vibrational, your accomplishment, um, you you know, you being self-made, because the, 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 the independent, that's a non of pinnacle. That's self-made. That's self, self-made mean that you got it from the ground up. Ain't nobody help you with a damn thing, okay? You ain't getting no help from nobody, okay? No sponsors, no shout-outs, no nothing. You got it from the ground up, okay? And... Just by you had getting it from the ground up, somebody's in somebody. This somebody who feels like, oh, in order for me to make it to where I need to go, I need a I need a support system. I need people. I need these three of cups at the bottom. I, they gotta be rooting me on. They gotta be rooting me on. I need I need a support system. I need I need help. Nah, you didn't have with the energy of independent. You ain't had nobody but your damn self, sun seeds. With that emotionally intelligent, it's like whatever someone wasn't given to you, you pulled that into yourself and you created a beast, but you created a beast in a good way. But it also has someone who didn't want to do the work on themselves that was very immature, that was not ready, that chose to take their free will to do whatever they chose, okay, to do. And you took your free will to do whatever you choose to do. It, it, it literally, it makes somebody insecure. What's the trigger? Trigger? 
Yeah, trick is play power with illusions in reverse. This is this somebody who triggered by the fact that because if you look at the illusion card in the upright, it looks like someone that bit the apple, right? Somebody is triggered in reverse. It's like you don't want to bite the apple. You don't you don't want to take the bait. You don't want to get whatever they offering. You ain't buying. You ain't buying. Whatever they selling, you ain't buying. You don't want it. It's because you know who you are. And somebody gets triggered by the fact that you know, thank you, Spirit. Why? They, 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 they triggered by the fact that you know your worth. Yeah, somebody don't like the fact that you know your worth. Maybe at one time when you was dealing with this person, you didn't know your worth. You know? You didn't know your worth. Maybe you thought you did, but when you when you pulled your energy back and you went in, in isolation, you found out how much more you, how, how, how worthy you are, how important you are. How valuable you are. Something about self-esteem. Somebody is, and, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. Anybody that's triggered because you have self-esteem and you know your worth, they ain't for you. This person is triggered by the fact with the illusion in reverse with the with this apple is that you're not buying. You're not you're not buying whatever whatever they buy whatever they selling you ain't buying. You don't, you know, whatever they selling, you don't want it. You ain't buying that. You see right through the illusion. You don't want it. Or realization and water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you realize, like, no. No. And this person sees that you're not, you're not just anybody. You're not just anybody. It's okay, you know, I won't even say it's okay, but when you're in that low vibrational energy and you're dealing with those certain type of energies and you very lustful in the spirit it's okay you know because you don't you don't really know you just you just like what you like you know but when you have somebody who was mirroring the energy it's like for example somebody being on tv right and you're seeing somebody who has like you've seen a movie where a person was at the bottom and they was they were struggling they could have been living out their car or they didn't have much and then they grew up to be this big movie star or they grew up to be somebody who accomplished so much. This is somebody who actually is not a movie to them. It's, it's, it, 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 it could be a movie to them for me to say that, but it's actually somebody who knows somebody in real life who have went from the bottom and got to where they at. And that was all because they built themselves. Somebody is self-made. So somebody is actually seeing something that is not a fantasy, is not on a movie, is not made up, is not scripted. It, it's actually seeing someone who built a certain life for themselves by themselves with the independent nine of pentacles energy. And it's like, wow. Wow. So it makes somebody very insecure with the higher purpose in reverse. Somebody who didn't want to do the work. Okay. Now, somebody could be looking at you and seeing that, oh, things just happen for you overnight. It may have seemed like that towards this energy because the way how they distance themselves from you, um, you know, they don't know what's been going on in your everyday life. They don't know what you've been going through behind the scenes. It may seem like that when they look up, but you know all the sweat, tears, and hard work you had to put in, the delays that came with it. You know, but like I said, a delay is not a deny you. And if God is making you wait, he, you better know that it's something better. You know, um, something about this person's energy that I feel like you had to release and clear out. And for a lot of you guys, you just don't resonate with this energy anymore. Um, with this pride, um, if you came from a place that was very prideful at one time, maybe you did resonate with this energy. But because you've gone through a major change or transformation, it does you don't resonate with this energy anymore. You just don't. You don't. And you could look cold and financially trapped. Yeah. This somebody yeah, well ladies man. This somebody who was cold, there was a ladies man, and now they feel financially trapped and whatever message. They want to message you in whatever situation that they were going through. A lot of you guys with a single parent and third party. Some of you guys are single parents, you know, um, you don't really have support or help from anybody You do everything on your own. Um, this could have been somebody who left you for third parties who, you know, put other people before you, only to realize that it wasn't real, you know, where well, they should have been putting the work and the effort in. Um, they chose to leave you as a single parent, 
you know? But it made you whole. <laughs> it made you whole. Yeah, codependency in her and whole. Okay? Maybe at one time you felt like you needed people's support or you needed to have certain energy support in order to make you whole. But you realize with the Empress, with the her, only thing you real because it says her, you know her and my hand. This is the Empress, this is the Emperor, and codependency and whole. You realize the way how the cards is her codependency and whole. All you truly needed some seeds was your soul. And it put you in that nine of pentacles energy. But there is someone who's very codependent and needy on your energy. And because you're no longer entertaining or giving to that energy, um, it's forcing this person to go within, but it's also making this person insecure about your energy. Can I have a card on the mirroring? The mirroring. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Mirror. Water signs. So you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or they could have these signs anywhere in their chart. What's the water sign? Yeah, movement. There's someone who's uh, making forward movement. Uh, what's the movement? Yeah, walking away in reverse. So whoever this, this person is, um, this is somebody who's coming towards you because they feel like you guys got unfinished business. This is also somebody that feels like you're getting away with the movement, with the walking away in reverse. This is somebody who does not want you to go. They do not want you to go. But at the same time, I just feel like you felt like by staying in this energy, yes, I can't make it up, immature, this was somebody who was hindering your growth. Immature and compromise. It's like, there's no growth here. You know, I could love you to death. I could even have unconditional love for you. You know, so let's be honest, unconditional love, everybody said, oh yeah, I love that person no matter what. And I, you know, we, 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 unconditional love meaning that if, if that person not giving you, you know, what you desire anymore to stimulate whatever your ego is, your pride is, is you gonna still love that person? For whoever you are, I feel like you still love that person unconditionally, but you just love yourself more. You choose yourself more. And what you want for yourself is more than what this person might might want for themselves. You, 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 you might possibly see the potential in this person, what they could be, but you know you can't get caught up in a moment of just the potential of a person because what you with the potential was just the future. The past is the past. The moment is the moment. The moment is right now. We're not in the future right now. We're in the moment right now. You might see the potential and the future of this person, but you have to go and reflect on what they show you right now. And what they show you right now is what it is right now. So what you got to do is respectfully remove yourself and focus on you. And there's nothing wrong with putting yourself first. But because you put yourself first, whoever the energy is that you're dealing with, it makes this person insecure. It brings out their demons because with the higher purpose in reverse, this is not somebody who's who 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 is okay spirit saying who's ready to reflect they see you moving forward but with the walking away in reverse there's somebody who don't want you to get away sun seeds what's the walking away in reverse yeah come on now you don't got time for that you don't got time for the game playing the cycles somebody who don't want you to walk away they're playing games you could be dealing with a fire sign, but someone with cheating and deception and someone wants to talk, or you could be a fire sign, you don't have time for that. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's giving the energy of people falling in love with people for the potential of who they could be. Instead of going by what they show you right now. Somebody don't have time for that. Happiness and lies. It's like, come on, let's make it make sense. Okay? You're lying, but I make you happy. You know, with the someone wants to talk, the session, the, the cheating and deception, like, we got to make it make sense here. You know, the lies, happiness, like, choose a side. Thank you, Spirit. Choose your side. It's given like the, the lover's card. Choose your side. Either I make you happy and you want to, you want, you want to continue this to go on. You want to, you want, you want a lifelong of happiness and healthy, organic connection with me. 
or you want to be a liar or you know someone who's very very deceptive you can't come in and want to talk to me but still have lies but want to be with the with the happiness want to be attached to me because a part of you feels like i make you very happy we not doing that puppy love and crush no we too grown for that we're not in high school we're not about to play these baby ray ass games Okay, somebody is very immature that needs to grow up. And with the organic and growth and healing, I feel like that's exactly what you did. That's exactly what you did. This person wasn't giving you what you needed, so you gave it to yourself. This person was sneaky and they had third parties and they were not ready. They were not ready. And, and you said, okay, but I know what I'm ready for. I know, I know my, I know my assignment. Somebody answered the call. You don't resonate with certain energies anymore. Toxic, crazy, dating. You don't resonate with people that have you in third parties that's toxic, crazy, giving you all. You just don't. I, I, I read a, uh, a saying that says, you know, um, when you're dating, if you're looking for a grown man, they won't be at playgrounds and parks with little boys. Like, the, if you if, if you're looking for grown men, all grown women take a hard rest and they flip off the roads. But if you're looking for a, a healthy connection, they won't be where the game plan is at. Okay, they won't be with a little boy. Thank you, spirit. They won't be with a little boys and little girls at. Somebody realized that, and they might be single, but they're okay with that because they know what they want. They know what they want. They know what they deserve. So it, it comes a time where you know you have to be in isolation. You know, because preparation is definitely in effect where it's definitely preparing you for new healthy, change, you know, new better relationships. Toxic, crazy, and they ain't someone to just maturing, and that's not where they want to be anymore. They're not about to entertain where someone wants to talk or lies and happiness. Someone is not about to go on the phone and chit chat <laughs> and do all of that with somebody who's a liar, but at the same time, I make you happy. We're not about to be confused with the illusion card in reverse. You're not about to put me in illusion, trying to get me to bite the apple so I can take the bait to have you me as a third party or get me caught up in your triangle. That's not going to happen. And it doesn't make it a bad thing or meaning to where this person is a bad person or you're a bad person. It's just that you guys just don't resonate because you're so high vibrational. And because you're so high vibrational, it's very triggering to the person that you're leaving behind. And it might be just someone you share chemistry with who was contemplating about this connection with you guys. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. I told you I seen it in my third eye. It could even be somebody who's playing in your energy with the lies and happiness, but someone wants to talk. Somebody could have been entertaining someone, you know, who was actually delaying them. Someone who was actually delaying them, playing these games, you know, trying to keep someone caught in illusion, yeah. Eight of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles, walking away from karmic cycles. Somebody is walking away and closing out karmic cycles, okay? I can't make it up. Ace of Swords, Spirit said that's the truth. That is the damn truth. Give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. So we have the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, five of wands in reverse is just like um, whatever the conflict is, the disagreement is, you avoiding that by any means. <laughs> I can't make it no clear. You avoiding that by any means. You don't want no argument. You don't want no conflict with someone. The magician in reverse, anyone who's trying to manipulate you because this is all the lies, the happiness, and someone wants to talk something, that is heavy manipulation. You got to pick a side. Either you're going to lie to me and stand on that shit with the cheating deception, stand on it. If you're a liar, you want to be a cheater, you want to you wanna be sneaky, you want to have third parties, stand on that. If you want to make me happy, stand on that. But we ain't about to communicate and, 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 and you try to get me to coincide with you when I know you out here only creating illusions. We're not about to do that. We're not about to play these manipulation baby ray ass games. We're not about to do that. So five of wands in reverse with the, with the magician in reverse. 
we're not about to do that, okay? You're not about to be caught up in any type of deception or illusions or any of that. We're not about to play them type of games. Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit. Yeah, it's like somebody gets going with that and they realize that whatever they invested in or whatever, they put their time and energy in, they ain't get shit back. They ain't get nothing. And, and they realizing, like, whatever they try to, like, project to you, because, you know, whatever you project out in the world, that comes right back. And whatever energy they try to project to you, they got right back. They got right back. So they were trying to offer you a toxic um, connection that, you know, or date you or court you in a toxic connection. They got that right back. They got that right back. That right back. Okay, they try to start something new or build something new with somebody. It just, it just went right back to center. Yes, it did. The high priestess in reverse. I cannot make it up. Okay, someone ignored their intuition. They had hidden motives about you. They was confused about you, and only for the backfire. Yeah, it blocked them. It blocked them because yeah, two of swords, the queen of cups, the seven of swords. Now somebody is worried, having anxiety about you pouring into yourself, loving yourself, you be this emotionally intelligent person, taking care of yourself. They worried about, about the fact, seven of swords to the two of swords, it's like they can't manipulate you, they can't lie to you because you're very intuitive, high priests in reverse, everything is going to be revealed to you, four pinnacles, that's why you hold it back. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, page of wands, that's a gift. Somebody realizing, like, you good news, you know? And now with the Knight of Swords, they want to come rushing in. Nine of Swords. Yeah, they want to come rushing in. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the Emperor. Whoever your Emperor is. But with the Five of Pentacles I just seen, somebody left you out in the cold. He walked away from you. The Tower. And now they're feeling like they're in the Tower. With the High Priestess in Reverse. High Priestess in Reverse. Seven of Pentacles. It's like investing in something only to realize you didn't get nothing out of it. Yeah. So I feel like someone is, is just now deciding to, you know, go after something new, take a venture, confirmation, spirit bird, and they decided to, you know, focus their energy somewhere else with the Page of Wands, being fearless at this time, and you know, realizing that this energy is not what you wanted, so I see you've seen it for what it is. You don't want to deal with these type of energies anymore. And because of that, you're attracting a whole new tribe. What's the tower? The tower. The tower, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yes, the tower is the lovers. This is you making a conscious, a conscious choice and a decision to, you know, not deal with things that no longer serve your highest good, period. When it comes to romance, relationship, this doesn't just have to be romantic. This can be anything, platonic, whatever relationship that you're currently dealing with that you know that you're, you just, you're separating yourself. And you, it's basically just giving the energy of someone who's choosing themselves, but it's actually causing a tower, you know, for others. Um, I also feel like for some of you guys, whatever these choices and decisions that you're making, it's, it's like life-changing um, decisions because it's something that you're not you're not used to. Whatever this chain is, you're not used to it either. It's given like a whole, yeah, the death card. It's given like a reaper. Like, it's new. You know? These people that didn't rock with you, you know, only wanted to steal your energy. Because we've seen the, um, we seen the herd, the codependent and whole. It's like people only want to deal with you because they codependent on your energy because they see you as whole. It's like energy vampires. It's like get what they want with the codependency. Get what they want from a whole energy and then go and give it to somewhere else and try to manifest it off it. You're realizing that these people are manipulators and liars and you're just not dealing with that anymore. It's like somebody is actually opening their eyes, taking the rose-colored glasses off. It is what it is, the three of swords. And it's causing heartbreak for people that's around you, you know? For lovers, you know, whoever these people are. Any, lovers could be anybody, you know? Siblings, family members, romantic relationships, co-workers, soulmates, whoever. Anybody could be a soulmate in your life. But it's actually breaking their heart. But the thing is, 
what's, what's, what's weird about it is because it's breaking me a heart because now you're seeing past the illusion. You don't want the, the, the illusion in the reverse. Look at the apple, but the illusion in, in reverse, you're not biting an apple. You're not taking a bait. It's like, oh, you're smart. Yeah, you've been smart for a while. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't eat off of you. I can't have some of that stability. You know, like, what's the three of swords? Why are they so hurt? Why are they heartbroken? Thank you. They ten of wands because they're burning four swords and they need your healing. Yeah, they need your healing. But with the four swords to the three of swords, it's like the three of swords to the four of swords. It's like they need your healing to get them out of this ten of wands to release them confirmation to release them for whatever burden and struggles that they're going through but what happens sun sees when you 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 give that healing energy and you 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 um you rock with them and you exchange energies with them and you get them out of this ten of wands but then they go back being this seven of swords energy this shady ass person that they are it's like energies that wanted to steal and take from somebody who was whole you're no longer allowing them Whoever you are, Empress or Divine Masculine, you just know your worth now. And you're standing on the ten toes down. Can I have a card on a Magician in Reverse? Thank you. Yes, I can't make it up the work hard. You're not playing these games anymore. Nobody is about to come and manipulate you and lie and do all of that. And if that means that it, it, you losing everybody and starting over from scratch and not having nobody on your side, that's you fine with that. You're actually fine with that. Because if it takes if it takes having all these people in your corner by your side and you not to get shit out of that and they get everything from you, who cares? It's like who who I mean like who need enemies when you got all like this? It's just a bunch of fake, it's fake people. It's, it, it doesn't. Uh uh. The magician in reverse to the world card. You done with that? You done with that? You see right through them. Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Even if you got to start off from scratch and start on over, you're turning your back. Okay, you're turning your back, and whatever you're working on is going to be very prosperous. It's like people like literally living off your energy. Okay, living or trying to make money off your energy, hell no, but they ain't rocking with you at all. What's the world card? This this is over with, this cycle is completed, and you okay with that? Yes, King of Wands, you ain't about to play with them, you ain't about to play with them. I feel like whatever this, this world card with the, with the King of Wands, um, it's giving very much accomplishments, um, achievements, Ace of Pentacles. You're definitely being offered some type of leadership role. I feel like you had to go through whatever you had to go through. You know, um, you know, make wise, healthy decisions. Be bold. Be bold. Very bold. And stand on what you believe in. And be optimistic about your future and just go after that. Even if it just only meant you by yourself. Yes, the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Yeah. I feel like with the six six, this is you just like reflecting a little bit, okay? Six of cups and six six of cups and six of pentacles. You reflecting, yes, the hermit, yes. This is you going within the hermit to the queen of cups. You going within, period. <clears throat> I feel like you're getting a very a brand new opportunity from divine. What's the five of wands in reverse? You just don't, you're not about to, you're not about to entertain, you know, what doesn't serve you anymore. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's a damn shoe, but I can't make it up. The Sun card, it's going to make you very happy. But you're not entertaining liars. People who want to lie and come around you acting like, oh, I didn't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know. I didn't know that was happening. I didn't know. I didn't know. But, oh, you make me so happy. You know, you you know, you know, bring, like, nah. Pick a side. Lies and happiness when someone wants to talk. Pick your side and stand on that. Stand on that. <laughs> stand on that. Let me call it on the side. Yes, yeah, two of pentacles. Okay? You know, 
Mm-mm. I just wasn't talking to a pinnacle. I feel like you could have been indecisive for a while about with the stunt card. The stunt card is the best card in tarot. You could have been indecisive about choosing you, choosing you, leaving people behind that no longer serve you. Yeah, because at one time you might have been an illusion. You could have been, you know, buying whatever they were selling. It was not real. They was lying. They was only trying to keep a, a hold on you to have some type of investments or attachments to you so where they can get something out of their debt. What's the two of pinnacles? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Six of Cups. These people from your past. Knight of Cups, they coming on loving and charming and nice and blah, blah, blah. But with the high friend and the Five of Cups, it's like they'll come in and appear to be one way but it's like you will be in regret. So with the Five of Cups, the Higher Friend, the Knight of Cups, intuitively is giving me like, come in and be a nice and charming. But if, if that's the case, how come the end result always leave me in regret? Why do I feel like I'm always learning a spiritual lesson from someone who's coming in as a Knight of Cups that that acting like they're so charming and nice and they're grateful for me and they and they rocking with me? But why do with the high friend in the middle? Why do I feel like I'm constantly learning a spiritual lesson with the Five of Cups in the beginning? It always seems to be me regretting something. You know? Come on, Sussy. Let's talk about it. Six of Swords. You're being guided to move away to common waters. What's the Ace of Swords energy? There's definitely a breakthrough here, some seeds. Yeah, Knight of Swords and a Nine of Pentacles. I can't make it up. Yeah. I feel like you're focused on you at this time. You're focused on your energy. You're reserving your energy. You can be very selfish with your energy at this time. But this is you who was, who was focused on accomplishing something, your rewards, your efforts. Someone is learning independency. Someone is learning self-worth. Someone is definitely securing, um, I heard, the bag in themselves. Yes. And it just should justice. For other people, they may, may feel like it's not fair. But it's fair for you. But it's karma for them because they lose it because you walked away. Let's clarify the justice. Clarify the justice. That bowl that's very loud, so we're not gonna make it too long. Yeah. <laughs> Four wands. Your justice is stability, celebration, happiness, being, um, you know, being very abundant. Um, you know, you you going where your where where God is leading you with your tribes. A place of not wanting, but a place of belonging. You know, the justice to the four wands. Yeah, it's not a place of wanting, but a place of belonging. You know. Um, where you belong. The Spirit says your good karma is, but you know, you belong to be justice to the four ones. You belong to, you, you are, be, okay, you belong to be a place where of uh, stability is celebrated and, you know, um, getting what you put out, you know, um, that's your good karma. And what they say, a prophet is not welcome in their hometown, okay? So it's like the more you choose yourself, um, yeah, they say a prophet is not welcome in their hometown. So you will have energies that will turn against you. And I heard earlier, it's people that are just leaving by the wayside, but Spirit said the trash is taking itself out. People ain't never meant to be there anyway because they was lying and backstabbing you anyway. And it was all about what you can give. If you couldn't give nothing, they didn't want you, okay? A prophet is not welcome in their hometown. So your justice is to keep it moving and go to a place of belonging. Okay? And your stability with the God and divine and yourself is source. You guys are all co-creating co together. It's created for you. It will be very, very much appreciated where you're going. Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Queen of Cups. I can't make it up. Oh, I love these cars. They are so pretty. They are so gorgeous. But four years ago, August 16th, for me, four years of not being on this channel, I am intuitive to read a baby 
I'm telling you. These cards are beautiful. I love them. I love art. I'm in love with art since very young. But I know what I'll be feeling. Wherever you going, Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands. And you're very confident about your decision. You're very confident about choosing you. You're very confident about loving yourself because you know it's going to bring you so much happiness. Two of Cups. Healthy relationships. Will of Fortune. The Judgment. The Star. I love you, Sunsteeds. I love you guys so very much. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. You guys are amazing. You guys are extraordinary. I thank you guys for all your love and support to the channel. I definitely enjoyed my soul of return. I did. Even though with everything that's going on across the world, I definitely enjoyed it. And I'm so, so, so very grateful for you guys. My true supporters, my, my, my supporters who've been rocking with me from A1 to day one. I love you. I love you. Even to my new supporters who we just, we just connect. We, we just, we, we, we just connect because we, you know, we, we, you know, you do my tribe. I love you and I support you and I love you for everything that you have helped grow in this channel. Um, where do I think I'm at? I think I'm like 70, yeah, 76,000 subscribers. Who the hell would have knew? Who the hell would have knew? A girl from a small town. Um, I didn't even know um, YouTube, you know. I didn't even know all the aspects of YouTube when I started the channel. far as financially, far as, you know, having to like have these emotional effects with people that you didn't even know. I didn't even know anything. All I knew was when I started this channel um, was that... Um, I was going through awakening, um, people was leaving, people was judging me, I was being, um, I was being, you know, basically, you know, I was being judged, ridiculed, I even went through a period of my life where, um, I was humiliated, you know, all because I opened up my third eye, all because I started seeing life different, all because of, I, I found out everything that I learned was a lie, and, 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 and just imagine what I had to go through at a certain age to realize that it wasn't real. So I had to unlearn that at a certain age, being so, you know, mature in my adult life, to know that I had to start all over from scratch and learn it all over again because it wasn't real. But what I did realize that leaving the matrix, you know, um, you will be humiliated. You will be talked about. You will be lied on. <laughs> oh, Lord. Giles. Let's see. You will be lied on. You will be lied on. You will be talked about. But if you stay focused, you stay pure, stay true to thyself, and one of the most important lessons that I learned on this journey up into this day always trust your intuition your intuition is the biggest gift that you will ever receive in life because your intuition will guide you in places that can lead you out of some dark places and it also can lead you to some beautiful places but your intuition is the biggest gift I love you, Sunsteeds. I love you guys too very much. I hope this reading was able to help you. Yeah, you hear them sirens? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, Sunsteeds. I love you. I love you guys so very much. Anything you need to know about me, Sunsteeds, will be in the description box below. And so we get up next time. Later, Sunsteeds.